start a series in the Old Testament. In the next four weeks, we're going to think about this person. <clears throat> His name was Daniel, like our pastor. And Daniel lived in Jerusalem. And you know, the king of Jerusalem hadn't been very good and God was very upset with him. And he thought it was about time he taught him a lesson. We sometimes have to be taught a lesson too, don't we, when we do things wrong? Sometimes it's not very pleasant. Well, it wasn't for the king of Jerusalem. Because the king of Babylon, he invaded Jerusalem and he took over the city, the king and all its people. And they weren't very happy about it, I can tell you. But you know, the king of Babylon, he went to this place in Jerusalem. This is the temple, a very, very special place to the Jewish people. It was a sign that God was with them. And it's a very special place. If you look inside, you see they've got lots of things inside. Let's take the inside out and have a look at it. Right inside, can you see there's two compartments there? This is where the ordinary people will go, the priests. But right at the top here, that was called the Holy of Holies. And only the chief priest went there. A bit like our Archbishop of Canterbury. It's not, and then it changed when, at Easter, when Jesus died for us. And we could go straight into God and meet him one to one. Isn't that brilliant? But in the temple, there were some very, very precious things. And the king of Babylon took them to take back to Babylon. <gasps> People were horrified, but he just didn't take things. He took people, young men, good looking, strong, clever, things that would be of benefit to the, to the um, kingdom of Babylon. And he didn't just take Daniel, but he took some of his friends as well. <laughs> he took this person. This person's called Shadrach. And he took this person. His name was Meshach. They had some funny names, didn't they? And I think this one's the strangest of all. <clears throat> he took this one. And his name was Abednego or Abednego. And so he gathered all these young men together, got all the precious things from the temple and off they went back to Babylon. And Daniel and his friends didn't live badly. They did very well, in fact. And they had teachers to train them, a bit like we go to school, into the things that they should learn. And they did very well. But one of the things upset Daniel a bit. They were given the very best of food. <clears throat> now, if we were to choose what we, what we would have, what kind of things would we eat? Perhaps we would eat chocolate. Everybody loves chocolate. Oh, I can take it or leave it, but most people, normal people, like chocolate. I like these. They call them tafifis. They've got lots of toffee in. Not very good for your teeth, but I do like them. And how about this? Oh, I love some popcorn if I'm watching the television. That's very yummy. And I know we haven't had very good weather, but I hear some good weather's coming, so I've bought some ice lollies. They are rather nice too. And perhaps you would like some pop as well, fizzy pop. <clears throat> There's only one thing wrong about that. If we didn't eat anything else, we could get quite poorly and our teeth would suffer and then we'd have to go to the dentist, which isn't a good idea. But that wasn't what's bothering Daniel. God had set down conditions about what kinds of food they should eat and how it should be prepared. And Daniel and his friends were concerned that perhaps the Babylonians wouldn't have the same foods and wouldn't prepare them in the right way that would be pleasing to God. So they said to their teacher, excuse me, but would it be all right if we ate vegetables instead of the food that the king's provided? Oh, I don't know about that, says the teacher king very strict on these things and if you didn't look very well after eating just vegetables the curtains for me guys don't worry i promise you that if you let us eat vegetables 
we look just as good as anybody else. And so they did. And for 10 days, they ate vegetables and didn't drink any wine. They drank water. And do you know, at the end of the 10 days, the four friends looked better than all the other young men. So much so that the king noticed, he says, what's different with these? What have they been doing that these haven't been doing? Of course, the teacher had to tell him. It was the king after all. And the king said, well, why doesn't everybody eat the same food? And then they'll all look like this. Now, <clears throat> we're not saying that this food, the ice lollies and the popcorn and the toffee and the chocolate is wrong as long as we only eat it at certain times. We don't eat a lot of it. And we have other things as well to make us well. But you know, the message here is not so much what we eat, but how we do it. Not the food that we eat inside, but the stuff that feeds us our lives. The stuff from God, the food from God. And I'm going to look at our vegetables. The first one we had was a leek. This begins with an L. So what kind of food could we get from God? Begins with an L. Love. God tells us that we should love people as God loves us. Wow, that's quite a tall order, isn't it? We should love people even when they're not kind to us, even when they're not particularly our friends. What else did we have? We had carrots. They're very good for you. Apparently they make you see in the dark. I don't know about that one. They begin with a C. What food can we get that begins with a C? God cares for us and he wants us to care for each other, to be compassionate and to help one another. I've got a turnip here. <clears throat> they are very good for us too. That begins with a T. So what food can we get from God that begins with a T? Trust. We can learn to trust in God. And God wants other people to be able to trust in us to know that even when things don't always go right, we'll always be there for them, just the way God is for us. And our last vegetable, a parsnip, begins with a pea. What food do we get from God that begins with a pea? Peace. God wants us to live in peace with each other not to fall out over things. There are always going to be times when we don't always agree about things, but he wants us to be able to live together in peace and to appreciate each other's point of view. These are the things that God wants us to feed on. And if we do, then our lives will be enriched and we will have a close relationship with God, just like Daniel and his friends had because they trusted in God and they did what God wanted them to do. It says in the Bible, those who hear the teaching of God and obey it, they will be truly blessed. We find it in Luke chapter 11 and verse 28. Those who hear the teaching of God and obey it, like Daniel. They will be truly best, like Daniel. Daniel could understand dreams and visions from God. That was a very special thing, wasn't it? And you know, God will truly bless us with all sorts of things if we just trust and obey him. Can we say that again as we close? Those who hear the teaching of God and obey it, they will be truly blessed. Our song this morning is about living the way that God wants us to live. God loves us, so we should love each other. <laughs>